Here in this code sample, we have a carousel on the main page. The carousel, in this case, includes three photos. I can browse through the photos if I press each of these two buttons, but I can also wait and see the photos um, change with each other so that we can see all of them without uh, pressing any button. Now, if we take a look at the code sample itself, then here we have the navigation bar, so let's don't touch it. And here we have uh, the bottom part, where we have those three uh, segments. Um, on the bottom we have the script elements, one for jQuery, the other for getting the bootstrap library, and shortcode that invokes the carousel function on the ob object uh, that represents the div element uh, where we want the carousel to be displayed. In this case, if you take a look at the code, you can find a div element. Its ID is our carousel. And over here, I refer that div element. I actually call the dollar function that belongs to the jQuery library, it returns the reference for the object from the document object model that represents this, this uh, div element, and I invoke the carousel function on that object, and as a result we get the carousel. Now let's take a look at uh, this very specific uh, div element that its ID is our carousel, so that I can refer it. Uh, as you can see, we have the CSS class carousel space slide. We must have it. And then within the div element, we have an ordered list with a list item for each and every uh, photo, each or and every one of uh, these uh, list items um, include the data dash target attribute assigned with a, a string which is actually uh, the ID together with uh, this uh, character the ID of the div element where the carousel is um, rendered. Uh, we also have the attribute uh, data-slide-2 uh, assigned with values 0, 1, 2 just to set the order of the slides and the CSS class uh, active is for uh, selecting the first uh, list item, the first photo, uh, to be the one we see when we uh, just open the web page. Now, over here we have a div element um, with the CSS class carousel dash inner. Uh, this is actually the carousel itself. Uh, inside of this uh, div element, as you can see, we have uh, three um, small div elements. Each one of them is uh, for a specific item, for a specific photo. Uh, here you can see the CSS class item active, just for specifying that the first div is the one we want to be active when the web page is just opened. Now, each one of these uh, div elements has an image element as well as another div element for uh, specifying the text. Uh, here in this case uh, the div element has the CSS class uh, carousel-caption meaning that we want this uh, text to be on the bottom and indeed when we check we see on the bottom the text. Um, big um, kind of a title, bigger font first and then simple font just in according with the adding we select to use. So we have in this code sample three uh, um, div elements one, two, three. Each one of them is for a specific uh, photo. On the bottom we have two um, links. Each one of them is for uh, specific uh, previous and next uh, buttons. These two lines are uh, responsible for showing uh, these two buttons that allow us to navigate uh, back and forward.